practice makes perfect, even for pros. But big shots practice short shots to develop the smooth approach. In this lineup are Ed Dudley with one of the smoothest swings in the game, Dick Metz, star of the 38-39 winter circuit, Jimmy Thompson, longest driver in golf, and Horton Smith, most consistent putter among the pros. And before playing a round, they sharpen up their short game by practicing chip shots. Then to the tee of the Pebble Beach course at Del Monte, California, where Jimmy Thompson lines one out past the 300-yard mark. Of course, it's gratifying to send a long drive down the middle of the fairway, but long drives won't put your score in the 70s unless you can follow them with a smooth approach to the green. So these experts will show you the shots that really win matches. If your drive was long and straight, you might play your second shot like this. That is, if you're as good as Ed Dudley. You grip the shaft of your fore iron firmly with an overlapping grip and use a three-quarter swing to assure control. If you hit the ball and follow through like this, it should land on the green 160 yards away. But if, unfortunately, the ball falls short, you may try again with a chip shot from the apron. Dick Metz does this by grasping his eight iron in the center of the grip and stroking almost entirely with his hands and arms and with very little body action. But sometimes drives don't land on the fairway and you find yourself in a spot like this. Jimmy Thompson solves such problems with a heavy wedge and keeps the blade of the club well open to cut through the grass. Using a short swing, he gets the club head well under the ball, and this is what happens. If your high pitch to the green isn't quite successful, you may be faced with this sorry sight. Under these conditions, you might send for a shovel, but Jimmy Thompson prefers a sand wedge. As he addresses the ball, he sinks his feet well into the sand for a firm footing and hits behind the ball. The result is an explosion that it blasts most of the sand as well as the ball onto the green. From a shallow sand trap, the shot is quite different. Ed Dudley plays it like this. Maybe we should ask Ed to do that over again, a little slower. He uses an eight iron because the ball is perched on top of the sand, keeps his wrists firm, and hits the ball before the sand, the club head following through toward the hole. The ball just clears the edge of the trap and rolls gently toward the hole. Now when you play this shot, don't be disappointed if the ball doesn't always fall in the cup. Sometimes it just stays on the edge. Swinging around the tournament circuit for another lesson, we meet three of the boys again at the Augusta National Course, talking shop with Bobby Jones. While out on the 10th fairway, Ed Dudley reaches for a club to get out of a shallow fairway trap. It's a fairly long way to the green, so he uses a six iron. Even though the ball is in a trap, this shot is played exactly as if it were on the fairway except that the ball is played off the right foot so that the club will hit the ball before it hits the sand. If you follow these directions carefully, the ball will not only come out of the trap, but will sail a hundred yards through the air and land neatly on the green. Another way to get on the green is with a pitch and run shot, which Horton Smith plays with a four iron. Using a very short backswing, he picks the ball cleanly off the grass.
When you find your long drive to the edge of the green stymied by a tree, you may either throw your clubs away or reach for a nine iron, as Jimmy Thompson does, to play over it. He addresses the ball with a club held long to get as much power as possible and keeps the blade open as he takes it back in a full swing. He hits the ball clean and follows the first rule of golf by keeping his head down. Or maybe he's afraid to look. Then to show how simple it is if you follow instructions carefully, Jimmy lifts another one over the tree. More trouble. The best way for you to play this shot is to pick the ball up with the fingertips and throw it back on the bank. But Dick Metz has a better way. Careful not to touch the water, which would cost him a stroke, he takes a full swing with a wedge and blasts water, mud, and a golf ball toward the green with a shot that's very similar to an explosion shot from a trap. Getting the ball out of the water is a shot in itself. But Dick does it again to show how to get it out of the water and onto the green. The boys have shown you how to get on the green from every place but the locker room. But once on, you have to stay there. And now Dick Metz demonstrates how that's done with a little backspin. Taking a three-quarter swing with a nine iron, Dick hits the ball while the club head is still moving down, making it revolve backwards as it flies through the air. And this is the result. By this time, you should be master of the smooth approach. So Horton Smith will show you how to treat a golf ball after it gets on the green. He starts putting practice with a number of two-footers and works back. Because if you can't sink the short ones, you'll never sink the long ones. Faced with a long putt, Horton first studies the line to the cup and removes any loose obstruction in the path of the ball. He studies the contour of the ground and then takes a position with the ball off the left foot and his knee slightly bent. Every move is deliberate as he addresses the ball with a club grasp with a reverse overlapping grip. The first finger of the left hand overlapping the right. With wrists held firm, he strokes with his arms to send the ball smoothly across the green and into the cup. On a golf green, the longest way round may be the shortest way to the cup. On this green, the ball rolls up the hill and down again, but not quite in. Horton is disgusted and studies the ground more carefully before he tries again. Ah, that's much better. By this time, you should be ready for tournament match play, where stymies must be played. So Horton Smith shows how to get out of this nasty situation. As you have seen from these few easy lessons, golf is really a very simple game. And you should all be champions when you master the smooth approach.